In the revolutionary landscapes of the 19th and 20th centuries, two influential thinkers emerged, shaping the course of history with their ideas, Karl Marx and Vladimir Lenin. They both sought to address the injustices of their times, envisioning a world free from oppression and inequality. However, their thoughts and strategies differed in significant ways. Karl Marx, a brilliant philosopher and economist, laid the foundations of communism through his landmark work, The Communist Manifesto. His vision was one of a classless society where the proletariat, the working class, would rise against the bourgeoisie, the ruling capitalist class. Marx believed that the capitalist system inherently exploited the workers, leading to an inevitable clash between these classes. His focus was on historical materialism, the idea that economic factors largely determined societal development. Lenin, on the other hand, was a charismatic revolutionary and leader of the Bolshevik party in Russia. He built upon Marx's theories, but adapted them to the specific conditions of his country. Lenin was more concerned with the practical aspect of seizing power and establishing a centralized state. He argued for a vanguard party, a highly organized and disciplined group of dedicated revolutionaries to lead the working class in their struggle against the bourgeoisie. Marx believed that the proletarian revolution would happen spontaneously when the working class recognized their shared interests and became conscious of their exploitation. He emphasized the importance of economic conditions driving change. Lenin, however, saw the need for a proactive and well-organized revolutionary party to guide the working class towards seizing power. He believed that without such a party, the proletariat might remain fragmented and vulnerable to co-option by other political forces. Another crucial difference between the two was their view on the role of the state. Marx envisioned a stateless, classless society once communism was achieved. He saw the state as an instrument of class oppression and expected it to wither away once the proletariat gained control. Lenin, recognizing the harsh realities of his time, saw the need for a transitional state, which he called the dictatorship of the proletariat. This state would be necessary to suppress the remaining bourgeoisie and safeguard the revolution. Their views on imperialism also differed. Marx analyzed the exploitative nature of colonialism and imperialism as a result of capitalist expansion. Lenin, in his seminal work Imperialism, the highest stage of capitalism, saw imperialism as the highest form of capitalism, driven by the need for capitalists to find new markets and exploit cheap labor and resources in foreign lands. In terms of internationalism, Marx believed that the working class shared common interests across national boundaries and should unite to overthrow their oppressors. Lenin extended this idea by advocating for the formation of communist parties worldwide and supporting national liberation struggles against colonial powers. Another critical distinction lay in their perspectives on the peasantry. Marx had a somewhat dismissive view of the peasantry, considering them as a conservative force with limited revolutionary potential. Lenin, however, recognized the role of the peasantry in the Russian context and saw the possibility of forming an alliance between the working class and the poor peasants. Moreover, Marx's writings primarily focused on economic and class analysis, while Lenin's works delved deeper into the political implications of Marxist theory. Lenin was particularly concerned with the problems of strategy, tactics, and the organizational structure of revolutionary parties. While both Marx and Lenin aimed for a communist society, they differed significantly in their approaches. Marx's ideas laid the theoretical groundwork for a classless future, while Lenin's practical adaptations sought to guide the proletariat through the challenges of the 20th century. Their thoughts complemented each other, leading to various interpretations of Marxism and shaping the diverse communist movements that emerged worldwide. Their influence persists even today, with their ideas continuing to inspire and spark debates on how to achieve a more just and equitable world for all.